So I'm going to read you a quote. It's in reference to the thought of Daniel Bryan versus The Miz at WrestleMania 35. My question. You ask me that question, I will answer it with a question. Do you trust WWE with telling that story from now until WrestleMania 35? <laughs> like, what in the last several years has shown to you that something like that is possible here? Now, the person that said that quote was Daniel Bryan in a recent interview when asked about the thought of him facing off against The Miz at WrestleMania 35 and whether or not he would be down for that. But I don't know about you. It sure as hell sounds like something I would say, especially the last part. Do you trust WWE with telling that story from now until WrestleMania 35? Like what in the last several years in the bluest of blue fucks makes you think the WWE has shown you something like that is even possible here? Like if you add a couple of words, it literally sounds like something I would say. That's crazy. And it's hilarious that it's coming from somebody like Daniel Bryan. Like it's so obvious, even the employees of WWE know that the creative process of WWE is the absolute drizzling shits. They know how bad it is. They know how stupid it is. There is a departure between profit and product. Profit can be there. Product can still suck. And that's what we're seeing out of the WWE now. But to me, it is absolutely hilarious that somebody like a Daniel Bryan, who, mind you, had a big, long story, if we're being perfectly honest here, that revolved around him and Hunter and pursuing the world title, which ultimately culminated at WrestleMania 30, is now sitting there a few years later and talking about how there's absolutely no reason to believe that the company could do something like drag out the story between him and The Miz all the way to WrestleMania 35. I said, fuck it, Daniel Bryan's a damn smart. Daniel Bryan's a damn mark, a fan. Because it sure as hell sounds like something a fan would say. And for the most part, it's absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. Now, to me, we all know that one of those big money matches that WWE can have in terms of current roster, in terms of guys that would have tremendous chemistry together, in terms of their characters, in terms of the promos, in terms of the segments, and in terms of the matches, one of the best, safest things they could do is The Miz versus Daniel Bryan. There's almost a decade of history there going back to when Daniel Bryan was on that first season of NXT and The Miz was his mentor. It's like such a logical fit for both performers, for both characters, both personas. And to me, I've always felt like whenever Daniel Bryan and The Miz have done something together, it's always been really, really good. It has brought something extra out of Daniel Bryan, thanks to The Miz, and it has always brought something extra out of The Miz, thanks to Daniel Bryan. Like to me, the Miz and Daniel Bryan have such good chemistry that they should be a featured WrestleMania match. When you talk about featured matches, one of the two, three, four matches that you build your entire event, your entire show around, this to me is one of them. Now, I completely agree with Daniel Bryan. What in the bluest of blue fucks makes you think that WWE could actually develop and cultivate this story out well for what would it be, another nine months still? Especially knowing the WWE and their desire to have hashtag WWE ruins everything, who's to say that they wouldn't just randomly run into this crap, just throw it out there next month for all the fuck we know? It would still be something. It would still be a somewhat big deal. But with the guys involved, and with the story that you could tell, the only natural blow-off, the natural culmination point, would be WrestleMania. But to answer Daniel Bryan's question, do I trust WWE with telling that story from now until WrestleMania 35? Fuck no. 
what in the last several years has shown to you that something like that is possible here? Well, maybe outside of the whole Daniel Bryan and Triple H thing, which really, frankly, wasn't even designed to be what it ultimately was originally any damn ways. You could thank CM Punk for the plans kind of changing there. There's not much. Now, personally, I do hope the WWE can slow play this. I do hope the WWE can even go away from it for a period of time. You could do it now and have it work really, really well. But if you don't have to go there, don't go there. Wait and make it so much more. And now I will say this is that every once in a while, the WWE can pull something good out of their hat. They can. They did good things with Goldberg. And I counter that by saying they did stupid stuff with Sting. I don't disagree. No way in hell he should be losing his first match at WrestleMania. That's an example. But Goldberg, they did interesting stuff with him. Every once in a while, they can do something right with somebody. They can do something interesting with them. And the good thing about Daniel Bryan in The Miz is, is if you wait until the Royal Rumble, which would be real natural kind of launching point for that, these guys are good enough and they feed well enough off of each other that you don't have to write a lot of shit for it, for it to really work. And your hardcore fan base would naturally latch onto and gravitate onto this story where you would have that great dynamic of, the Miz is pretty much universally hated, and Daniel Bryan is pretty much universally loved. You would have that unique dynamic now in today's wrestling of the villain is the villain and the face is the hero. We don't get that a lot now. It would feel so right and so natural. And even though, yes, these guys have wrestled in the past and they've done programs in the past, we're far enough removed from that and we have enough interest and intrigue there to where... It needs to happen. Now, as far as the whole thing about Daniel Bryan, I saw several headlines talking about he doesn't trust WWE's creative. And perhaps that's true. And who could frankly fucking blame him? I just found it very interesting that a guy who's technically not even under contract uh, through WrestleMania 35 is talking about something like this. So, honestly, from the WWE standpoint, if they were going to do it, they would have to think about doing it soon because they don't know if they're going to have Daniel Bryan in the full long term. I just really hope personally, while I think it's funny that Daniel Bryan said this, he didn't just sit there and flat out say it sucks. He kind of asked the questions that lead you to believe that it sucks. The questions that you frankly already knew the answers to, and he knows the answer to already. I really hope that this is something that they will actually go with. I actually hope that they will be able to save it for WrestleMania 35. Now you've got all these other people that are sitting there draw, drawing to all these other conclusions about Daniel Bryan saying this or that he totally bashed creative. No, he just asked honest and fair questions. The hell makes you think that they could drag the story out until 35? He's absolutely right. Why in the fuck would you believe that? What in the last several years has shown you something like that is possible? You have a couple of examples, but they are few and far between. I just thought it was hilarious. That Daniel Bryan said something that, frankly, a lot of us would say. <laughs> but because it's Daniel Bryan, we take it more seriously. Because it's Daniel Bryan, it matters more. And people are trying to latch onto it and kind of spin the headlines a little bit and create their own narratives out of it. <laughs> I just thought it was funny of all people, it's going to be Daniel Bryan that said that. Because clearly he's in the no fucks given category at this point. And sometimes when guys don't give a fuck, like John Cena, it could be stupid and bad. But sometimes when a guy doesn't give a fuck, like a Daniel Bryan, it could be good and positive potentially. And I hope it is. But yes, me personally, I'm with Daniel Bryan. I'm up for it, and I want to see it, and I want to see it at WrestleMania 35, because that's where the hell a story like that, with performers like that, deserves to ultimately culminate and give you that big payoff.